Hi, my name is Katie. This year, my passion project for my school GT program was, a, was Superb, or Supercomputer Unparalleled Evil Robot Brain. Last year, I made a custom Castle Mini 3D printer, and I printed myself a Minion Army. But my Minion Army failed to take over the world, so this year I'm coming back bigger, better, and stronger. In this video, I'm going to explain what I've built, what problems I encountered, and what I'm going to do next. But first, I need to thank Transcend for providing the micro SD cards for the Raspberry Pis, Rapiro for providing this awesome robot, and Amerijoid for providing a couple of the t new Odroid C2 computers. This is the supercomputer itself. I made the case out of wood and I got to use lots of different kinds of saws. Then I painted it silver. The top is made from clear perspex. On the left, I have 18 Raspberry Pi Model 3Bs. These are running Raspbian and Jesse Lite. On the right, I have three Odroid C2s running Arch Linux and another Raspberry Pi that I'm using to drive a monitor. Tucked in the back, I have two 24-port Netgear switches and two ATX power supplies from old PCs. I made two circuit boards with USB ports to distribute power. When I'm finished, my supercomputer will be running 45 Raspberry Pis or Odroids. The first thing I did was install an Apache web server on the head node. And then I wrote this web page which shows all 45 slots on my supercomputer. Super for each slot, it either shows up white if it's empty or green if there's a board installed. For each board, it shows the node name, IP address, processor usage, and processor temperature. I also wanted to know how powerful the computer was. I used two pieces of software to test the performance. OpenMPI, which is open source message, message patching interface, which allows communication between nodes to test performance. I also use HPL, which stands for High Performance Linpack. The performance is measured in gigaflops, and a gigaflop is a billion 64-bit floating point calculations per second. For the performance test, 17 of the Raspberry Pis were running, running flat out for over an hour. As you can see on the screen, the result was 8.5 gigaflops, which is about 5 times faster than a Cray 2 supercomputer from the 1980s. However, I did hit two problems during the test. First, several of the Raspberry Pis detected a voltage drop below 4.65 volts, so they started running at half speed. And second, all of the other Raspberry Pis got up to 82 degrees Celsius, at which point the processors were throttled. Once I solved my power supply and overheating problems, the test should show better performance. And obviously, when I get it up to 45 boards, it should be much faster. The main purpose of this project was to build a supercomputer to act as a robot brain. Repairer was the first robot I wanted to use it on. I had installed a Raspberry Pi 3 and a Raspberry Pi camera inside Repairer's head, and I had to build a small 5 volt power supply to power them. My plan was to control Repairer wirelessly from my supercomputer, but unfortunately, my power supply was getting way too hot. So for now, I'm having to connect Repairer to the supercomputer with a USB cable, and I had to remove the Raspberry Pi and camera. And now I will show Repairer working. Here is Rapiro with his arm out, and this is Rapiro waving. Here he is uh, pinching his hand, and again. Here he is waving again. And now he's turning to his right. And now to his left. I have also installed Python and OpenCV, which is open source computer vision. So when I get Rapiro's camera working, I will be able to use facial and text recognition through Rapiro's camera. I also want to install a sound card, speakers, and a microphone inside Rapiro. Once I've done that, I want to install Jasper on my supercomputer using Google's text-to-speech and speech-to-text software, which will allow me to use voice control on Rapiro. I also want to install Hadoop and Spark on my supercomputer. This will give me a fault-tolerant file system and the ability to play with machine learning. Eventually, I'd like to run multiple robots and maybe even have them work together. This is a long-term project, so subscribe to my YouTube channel to see video updates.